feels like I just want to scream. It feels like I I can't uh, do anything. It's if I lay in my, on my bed, it, it feels like I don't even I'm not even considering turning to the other side because it hurts too much in my head. The impact is huge because the impact of uh, migraine patients is that like if you're living with a migraine on the week basis or the month basis. It means that you have a lot of days where you suffer from migraine. So I changed my type of work because I knew I couldn't have a work where I have to be concentrated and focused uh, all day long, five days a week. It's not just about taking painkillers, but it's directing a proper treatment uh, to acute treatment to a migraine attack. Also, learning the, the individual to, to take hand of their headaches. Is there any trigger factors? Migraine is highly disabling for the individual patient and as well as for the society because migraine is an invisible disease and it comes with an unpredictable pattern and you can never foresee when it comes and it has significant impact on your working life, your social life and your family life. A typical day would be not being able to take my kids to school, not being able to go to meetings, not being able to go to work, and just and I just need to be aware of not doing too many things. It makes me just frustrated. Migraine is defined as a chronic brain disease, and diagnosis is uh, is made according to the international headache classification uh, criteria. So it means that uh, the patient suffering from uh, attacks of severe head pain associated with uh, uh, phonophobia, phonophobia, increased sensitivity for light and sound, nausea, and sometimes vomiting. As it is so disabling, patients, they, they seek their doctor, their healthcare system, and it's a very costly disease because both indirect with work loss, but certainly also direct cost with uh, visits to the uh, healthcare professionals, medication and hospitalization in, in worst case. Migraine is also characterized uh, by the different phases. So usually the patients, they experience some we call prodromes. It's kind of a warning that the headache is underway. Some people, they feel hungry. Some people, they feel they want to eat something sweet. And uh, some people report also diarrhea or uh, increased uh, urination during this period, tiredness, depression, irritability. And we have two subtypes of migraine, one with aura, another one without aura. So aura, basically neurological symptoms that patients experience prior to their head pain, usually visual disturbances, which last about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, followed by the bad headache, associated with uh, sensitivity for light, sound, nausea, and sometimes vomiting. I have my, my pulsing symptoms that are just really, really strong. And then I can have some, I have my visual sights that I, sometimes I get kind of blind in one eye and I, I get different colors for my eyes. It feels really bad. Working characterized by the so-called uh, postdromes. Uh, this is a termination phase of migraine when migraine uh, stops. But usually during this phase, patients are not completely symptom-free. I was in my first twenties. I didn't know in the beginning that I have the migraine because I thought it was just a headache. But then normal painkillers couldn't take the headache. When I went to see the doctor, I took my diary about my headaches with me and told her this is how many days I've had the headache. And she told me it looks like migraine and she gave me some pills. 
In the beginning, I took a lot of this medication because every day when I felt I had the migraine, I took a pill. But then it was actually at the pharmacy they told me that I ate too many pills. Medication overuse is a problem in migraines because this is ranked as one of the most significant trigger for chronification. So the more medication they take, acute medication, the more migraine attacks they can develop. The worst thing for me is not being able to do the things in life that I would really like to do. The things I live for and I, when I try to do it, sometimes it's just like, okay, I shouldn't have done it because this is going to trick my migraine again. And that, that's the worst. It strikes usually uh, in the most productive years of your life. So it's usually we have uh, female patients and uh, between age 20 and 50 when they have to be on the working uh, and taking care of their family and children and during this time the migraine strikes. It's a lifelong disease so you have to live with it and the earlier the better you get a proper diagnosis and proper treatment. Uh, you can also handle that and that's what we see in many, many of our patients that they can handle it and they can control it. Be sure to join us for the next episode when experts discuss the challenges in differentiating a root cause of migraine and the prevalence of medication overuse headache.